Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. If you would, and you feel so inclined, please hit that subscribe button below, and the bell notification beside the, bell, or the subscribe button, that way you'll be notified when I release new videos, you'll be notified when I go live, it'll let new YouTube know that you're a human, that likes EDC content, and it'll allegedly help my videos get seen by more people. But what I wanted to do today is give you guys a long-term review, overview of this, what I consider to be awesome button lock, the Maxace Babylon. This is the Babylon V1 and it is a collaboration between Max Ace and Midnight Cat Studios. This is a pretty plain model in titanium with this anodized titanium pocket clip with a ball and these removable thumb studs. Um, and then again, you've got just real nice stonewashed titanium scales, stonewashed hardware, nice deep blue backspacer and it is a button lock so the only method of deployment is you've got thumb studs there and you've got a fuller hole so for me of course i'm a reverse flick kind of guy i like to use the the fuller but you can also get your finger on those studs to get a flick too so the thumb studs really let you based on the way that they're placed when you just push those thumb studs out, being a button lock, not having a traditional detent, it really fires the blade out there. Um, this is a larger knife, so if we look at it in my hand, I would consider it a large, a large pocket knife. So you've got jimping here, right at the top of the spine behind the thumb studs, so I can get a good grip there. And then I've got this forward trigger area that's not very choily. Um, I say that because it's angular there. It's not really rounded out, but I use it. It's got a really long blade that I like. I think the blade is kind of what drew me to the knife in the first place. And then I saw one of Peter, a therapeutic edge. Um, if you're not subscribed to him, go check him out. But I saw one of his videos on this knife and his impressions kind of led me to take a chance and pick this knife up when I saw that it was available and I haven't looked back. I've got several Max Aces. I love every one of them. This one's fantastic. Let me grab a little piece of paper. Hold on one second, guys. Get a piece of PPU Digest, and this is an M390 blade. Very tall, flat grind. very slicey and you'll see that it's not the thinnest blade stock so it's not really a slicer per se but it is very slicey um guys what i can say about this knife is it is probably the smoothest droppiest button lock in my collection i've got a protect mordax that i love I've got a protect malibu that i love um this knife's bigger than both of those knives, so it does not get carried as much. But in terms of overall action, sound, um, fidgetability, bruiserness, I'd put this button lock up against any that I've got. I have tested it. Has a very sturdy, stable lockup. It cracks open with authority and locks up. It's got this really nice brushed um, M390 blade. I don't know if that's belt satin. Looks like a belt satin to me. And then it's got this satin on the actual, around the fuller. The only branding on the knife is Max Ace here. I showed you that on the Beetle S that they're very minimalistic with their branding and also on the Black Mirror. Um, I think their designs are just super classy. This knife is done so well in so many different areas. All the hardware, and this knife was made over a year ago. All the hardware is deep T8s, so you got one tool, you can take it apart. If you take these studs off, 
it doesn't open up this fuller hole here. You're just left with the hole. So I guess you could really change the studs out. There's no advantage to taking those out. So by not having that particular tool, I don't look at it as, I don't look at it as a drawback, so to speak. So let's look at this knife and get a couple of quick size comparisons, find out how big it is, how much it weighs, and all that good stuff. Let's look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max. It's going to come in a little bit smaller than the 4 Max, but still at a handful. Civivi Baby Banter, much bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter. Got it next to the Benchmade bug out. Much bigger than the bug out. And let's look at it next to a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. This happens to be a Tonto. Guys, it's about a half inch bigger than the Paramilitary 2. So it is a good size knife. It is a full size knife. I would say it is on the large size of being a knife. So what that translate to, translates to in inches is the blade is coming in right at right under three and three quarters. The handle is coming in at five inches. To that front handle area, you're at four and a quarter. To that front choil, you're right at five inches. The overall knife is eight and three quarters so you've got an eight and three quarter inch knife that is very solid um, it is titanium and m390 so let's get a quick weight on it five point five ounces so it is definitely a, a handful but it's not a problem to carry I carry it quite often. Um, the clip works very, very well. You've got this nice indentation where the clip doesn't snag on your material. You can slide it right in and out of pocket with absolutely no resistance. I've got on jeans today and it seems to be doing fine. Um, the sound, the acoustics of this knife are just great. Where did I set? Hold on, guys. Huh. That is weird. I was going to measure the blade thickness. Oh well guys, I was going to measure the blade thickness, but I have set the calipers down and I just don't know where I would have set them. So anyway, sorry for the delay there. So that is the Max Ace Babylon. It is a beast of a knife. Um, I'm guessing that blade stock. About an eighth. Solid eighth of an inch thick, three quarter flat grind, very, very slicey, very, very pokey. Um, just a knife that I'm glad to have in my collection. This thing's available now in the version two. The only thing that changed in the version two was they put a safety button. I think it's right here behind the button lock. And I think the reason they did that is some lefties were coming into contact with that button when they held it. I haven't had any problems with that button or any type of accidental disengagement, but just a, a joy of a knife, guys. That's the Max Ace Babylon. I won't take any more of your time. Thank you for watching the video. If you stayed this long, please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Look out for the guy or gal to your left. Look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate over hate. I love y'all. Peace.